Hello, I'm Matt Guff from House.com, and I'm here with Ryan Turley, Global Sales Manager for uh, Arbor Snowboards. Thanks yeah, for being here. Thank you. How's your day? Awesome. What'd you have for breakfast? I had blueberry oatmeal and oh, some right. cold brew coffee. Yeah, yeah, that's always good. But then it was snowing outside, and, mm. and I've been on cold brew in, in SoCal, <laughs> and I should have gone with, with the hot coffee. Right. You know? Oh, I hear you. <laughs> I've done some extra stuff. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Ryan is here walking us through the 2018 All Mountain Groomer line. Uh, we have three different boards. We have a lot of all, pretty much all the Arbor boards uh, at thehouse.com. You can see and find the links below to purchase these things from the product pages. We have the foundation, we have the Sinombre, and we also have the element, and there's another element as well. Yep. Um, what what are all mountain groomer boards, and what does that kind of, what does that mean to Arbor? Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we've got to define it somehow, and, mm -hmm. and you know, these are going to be your middle of the mountain, um, you know, great for, for uh, resort riding, yep. groom, groom runs, but mm -hmm. don't let that, like, box fool you that right. you know you can take these into the trees into powder into other areas of the mountain aside from groomed runs yeah um, but they're but they're great for that for that area for sure now this is mm -hmm. kind of like the first one starting it out um kind of an entry price point board yep the foundation is this a new deck within it's, the line this is our second actually or no our third year this with is the foundation third yep. year it's a good looking mm -hmm. deck uh what's the story behind the foundation yeah so most all arbor snowboards have a real wood power ply top sheet. Boom. This is one of the few boards that does not have okay. that wood top. This sure. wood that you're seeing is actually the core of the snowboard. This All is right. the 100% tip to tail poplar core. Uh -huh. um, so we're, we're using see-through fiberglass mm -hmm. on the top as, as opposed to a plastic top sheet or Got a wood it. grain top sheet yep. to show through into that full core as well. Got it. The base is, is uh, has a little bit of transparency so that you can see through that entire full wood core. Got it. Now is this Biax glass on top and on bottom? It is. It's okay. Biax, Biax glass throughout. Sure. Um, and uh, we also this year added our 2x4 mini disc insert packs to this board along with the women's ethos where okay. in previous years it just had your standard 4x4 four four pack. Sure. So you get more micro stance adjustability okay. and cap um, compatible with all arbor bindings Great. as well as a lot of other mini disc bindings out there. Awesome. Now, what, what kind of profile shape does the foundation have? So it's a rocker system profile okay. with parabolic rocker, which yep. is real mellow rocker. It puts your outside contact points closer to the snow Got and it. more engaged mm -hmm. um, so that your rocker is performing better than traditional rocker with a single radius. Got it. So you're getting more connection here on your outside points, yep. and then we add grip tech contact points sure. right under your heel and toe Got to it. give you even more edge hold. Got it. What are, what's grip tech edges? What's that mean? Um, it's, uh, I mean, you can see the edges here. Yeah, it's, definitely they protrude. Yeah, yep, so sure. it's it's a, you know, yep. edge technology that helps grip the snow yeah. in general, but it's actually our, a non-blended triradial side cut. Okay. So we take a, deeper side cut here, yep. a more relaxed side cut here, and where those intersect mm -hmm. is where we we don't blend those two together. Got we it. just we just leave those and that that creates yeah. our grip tech. I like that. I really do. And it, it mm -hmm. does it, you can definitely feel it when you're riding, especially at slower speeds, like you engage where the grip tech is and then when you start to get like down and dirty, it's like those outside contact points. It's exactly. Awesome. Exactly. It's yeah. like, so, which is surprising for a rocker board. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it's a step up um, system where yeah if you're going at slow speeds you you're really working your turn from from the inside contact points yep and then as soon as you step up into higher speeds or a more mm. aggressive turn yeah. you're you're now engaged with all four contact for points. sure so this is our entry level uh, men's snowboard it's God. great for beginners but yeah. but you can this board will grow with you yep um so that as you get up to higher speeds and more you know steep terrain yep. these grip tech contact points are really gonna hold you in place where you need to be. Awesome. Yeah. And then next up we have an awesome board. This is one of my favorite graphics for 18. This is the Sin Nombre. Yep. Um, I, I kind of classify this as like, a, a, but just by the looks of it, mm -hmm. an all mountain freestyle deck, but you know, it's, it's a groomer board as well. Yeah. What makes this board so special besides this kind of rad graphic, <laughs> right? Yeah, so the price is, is definitely one of, the, one of the best points. It's right in that middle price point. Sure. Um, we're, we have a non-wood top sheet on this as well. Yep. This is a plastic top, which okay. allows us to get that price down a little bit. Sure. Yep. Um, but it still has a centered base, full uh -huh. poplar core, and yep. our camber system 
technology, All which right. is um, which is a relaxed camber, uh -huh. um, having more camber here in the center of the board, yep. with less and less and less camber as you get out to your tip. It and mellows tail. out. Mellows out. Yeah, it's a we're we're Southwest Coast, you know, so we like things <laughs> mellow and relaxed. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so these outside contact points are generally what's digging into the snow with, yep. with traditional camber, and that's yep. where you get all that hook and all that snag. <laughs> yeah. that, that's why people aren't riding as much camber as they used to be, right? Right. Well, you so, have to be on point like all the time. All the time. All the time. Right? So with our camber, um, we've relaxed that out so mm -hmm. these are less engaged, yep. and then we also added uprise fenders, Got which it. are beveled contact lifting the contact points off the snow by three degrees. Got it. And you can actually see these diamond-shaped mm -hmm. wings yep. if, if it's uh, put in the right light. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not sure if the camera's picking up I on that. I think they can see it. Yeah. So these, these wings here run all the way through the base yep. and through the edge. So uh -huh. it, it lifts this leading edge just enough off the snow so you get more forgiveness, more, you know, um, or I'd say less edge hold on camber, which is yep. usually the, the downfall of camber. Sure. And then to re-engage, we add grip tech back into camber right under foot. Awesome. So that you get all that edge hold you need directly from, from where your weight's being placed. That's perfect. And then... Uh, and real quick, uh, yeah. finally, on this Sonombre, the, dun, one, dun, dun. Yeah, the one thing that really sets us apart from the other boards on the line is the carbon cross beam, which is Ooh. carbon running from outside contact points through the center of the board in an X shape Across out the other to the one. other... Um, outside contact. Cool. So that carbon X yep. is really creating a, a lot of torsional response and rebound so that cool. when you're loading that turn on that hard pack or that ice, yep. that carbon is going to snap back and, and spring you out of that turn. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. That's a, I think this is one of my favorite boards in the line. Yeah, it really is. And I like how like the nose really doesn't rise up that much either. Yeah, you know, we actually have a huge scoop. Really low ramping on, on right. almost all Arbor boards. Yeah. Um, and then last we have the element. There's also an element black. Yep. Um, this is the regular element. Um, what's the story with this uh, with this one right here? Yeah, so the element um, is one of the longest standing boards in the Arbor line. It's yep. one of our best sellers. Mm -hmm. uh, this board here has a centered base. Fast. It, yep, it has the American black walnut top sheet, which is an upgraded top sheet. America. And then, and then we also have our <laughs> our double barrel one core, which okay. is bamboo running through the center of the board. Got it. Through the inserts all the way up to the up to the tail or the, the nose or tail. So yeah. that bamboo running through the center is gonna create more longitudinal stiffness mm -hmm. um, and more flexibility torsionally. Yeah. As opposed to bamboo being on the rails Cut. like So Dakota. good for Ollie in too. Yes. Really good. Great for great good Ollie snaps. power as well as great landing landing yep. power with that extra bamboo in there. Awesome. Now, what's the story between uh, the difference between the regular this element and yep, the element and the, black? Yep, the element black is just a step down from okay. the one I'm showing you here. It has sure. an extruded base, where this one has a centered base. Sure. The element black has a 100% poplar core instead of that bamboo yep. stringer. No, uh, yep, no bamboo. And then we're using mixed glassing here, mm -hmm. where the uh, the element black is straight biax glass. Got so it. Softer, got a little it. bit of a less aggressive rider, where this would be... Triax on top, Vax on bottom. You got it. Awesome. Man, well, these are rad decks. Ryan, thanks for being yeah. here, man. Thank you, Gut. You're welcome. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to check out all of the All Mountain Groomer boards from arboratthehouse.com. If you haven't done so already, remember to subscribe to the channel. We just broke 25,000 subscribers, Ooh. which was awesome. So good job. Thanks so much. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And uh, if I can't answer them, I'll make sure that Ryan does. Thanks again for watching. See you guys on the snow.